हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल एसएस फिजिक्स पॉइंट सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड वी हैव स्टडीड दैट हाउ द पाथ इज डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय अ चार्ज पार्टिकल व्हाइल मूविंग इन एन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इंपोर्टेंट दैट इज साइक्लोटोन दिस वाज अ लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन मे बी दिस if uh, this may be excluded from your syllabus this year because cbse has already announced that this is not they have excluded from their syllabus for this year due to covid 19 but today we are going to study we will know what is that cyclotron and what is its uses and what are its limitations so let's start so right the notes properly and listen the lecture carefully so let's start so cyclotron so cyclotron is what cyclotron is it is a device which is used to accelerate charged particles like proton alpha particles etc to a very high energy so cyclotron basically kya hai ek device hai where it is used to accelerate charged particles like proton man lo proton alpha particle means helium atom deuterium also you can say that is one isotope of water that you know that uh, sorry hydrogen hydrogen ka ek isotope hai kon deuterium because hydrogen have three isotope hydrogen deuterium tritium so deuterium chahe le lo चाहे प्रोटोन ले लो कोई भी चार्ज पार्टिकल ले लो यू वांट टू एक्सेलरेट दैट चार्ज पार्टिकल्स सो देयर इज यूज ऑफ वन डिवाइस बिकॉज यू कांट एक्सेलरेट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लाइक दैट और प्रोटोन सिंपली यू कांट एक्सेलरेट इट इज वेरी स्मॉलर पार्टिकल सो यू वांट टू एक्सेलरेट दैट काइंड ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड यू वांट टू गेट हाई एनर्जी एज द पार्टिकल्स रोटेट्स इट इंक्रीजेस इट वेलोसिटी as you know the velocity increases this kinetic energy increases so you will get a high energy so cyclotron is a device which is used to accelerate charged particles jisko kiske liye use kiya jata hai charged particle ko accelerate karne ke liye to have a high energy or to get a very high energy because if they will move their velocity will be too much because the particle is very smaller or lighter so therefore their energy will be also higher so cyclotron its construction it was what is a cyclotron then just write its construction so how has cyclotron is formed that you have heard somewhere lhc lars hadron collider lhc in switzerland it is there it is used to that big big bang theory have studied also there we studied about the smallest particles you want to study about nucleus you want to study about atoms or molecules there you need to do this one that is high energy you need high energy so that high energy comes from cyclotron you have studied that lhc if you don't know just google it on youtube you will get a knowledge about lars hadron collider that is the form of cyclotron and you know that it is around 64 something like that its radius is like that it is in switzerland you will get more information about that thing there the particles are accelerates because suppose you want to modify one atom suppose you want to treat cancer cancer treat treatment ke liye chahiye energetic particles to destroy that at, um, cancer cells so there also cyclotron is used to accelerate some particles so there are huge application in medical field also in research or in also modification of certain atoms also cyclotron is you will study about later just know now we will know what is its construction so cyclotron it is basically consist of both electric field as well as magnetic field cyclotron ke andar kya hai electric field hai 
और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दोनों है सो द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आर प्रोवाइडेड बाई टू स्ट्रॉन्ग मैग्नेट्स दो स्ट्रॉन्ग मैग्नेट है ऊपर और नीचे वन मोर ऑल्सो इट कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ टू सेमी सर्कुलर डी सेप कैपिटल डी सेप सेमी सर्कुलर डिस आर कॉल्ड डिस डी ई ई एस डिस इज कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ टू मेटेलिक हलो इसके अंदर कुछ भी नहीं है और दोनों मेटल का बना हुआ रहता है इट कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ टू हलो डिस मेटेलिक डिस मेटेलिक डिस Just listen. I'll tell you the construction so that you can write. It consists of first first thing there are two magnets and also there are two discs, two discs of D shape, semicircular or you can say also D shape, metallic. And these two discs are connected to a high frequency AC source. हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी एसी सोर्स सो हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी एसी सोर्स मतलब यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग हाई वोल्टेज देर आर यू नो दैट करेंट एसी करेंट एंड एसी करेंट इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर विद देर इज वन चैप्टर दैट इज एसी वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एसी इन दैट चैप्टर सो इट कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी एसी सोर्स एसी सोर्स मतलब यू आर अप्लाइंग सम वोल्टेज एंड दैट वोल्टेज इज ऑल्टरनेटिंग ऑल्टर दिस एसी मीन्स Alternating AC source, source, AC source. So, AC means alternating. Alternating means its direction and magnitude changes continuously. The current you are applying to that source, it changes its magnitude as well as its direction with respect to time. Time के हिसाब से उसका direction and magnitude दोनों change हो रहा है. That type of current It's said to be AC current, and that should, which source provides AC source, that is said to be AC source or AC voltage. Our fan, our bulb in our home, all are running on AC. Only DC is when you are connecting a bulb directly to a battery. That you have studied nine volt, ten volt battery, whatever it is available in market. That battery is said to be DC. But AC means it's current changes with respect to time so let's start so construction kya hai construction mein kya likhna hai two magnets hai there are two magnets two dis and the two dis are connected to a high frequency ac source or ac voltage whatever you are writing and it has a window here one window is there here one window is there through which the particle comes out from this system The particle comes out from the system, and where you want to target, that is the element where you want to target that one. And the particle, suppose you have proton को ले रहे हो, proton को लेके उसके बीच में रखते हैं. You have to keep the proton in between the gap of the disc, so that the proton will try to accelerate in like this. ऐसे circle में घूमेगा, फिर बाहर आ जाएगा. I am not doing too much circle, so it will accelerate through these two discs, and finally it will comes out through the window. This is W, W is what window? This is a window, window through which the particle comes out. That is a smaller window through which the particle comes out. The particle Will accelerate through this disc. So I uh, there is working. I will explain there how the particle accelerates there. But for now, just write the construction. So in construction, write here first point. Just write here the cyclotron consists of two metallic. Just write it consists of two metallic. metallic hollow metallic hollow d is d e e s d is two metallic hollow d is of capital d set 
or you can say also semicircular shape also so it consists of two metallic hollow uske andar kuch bhi nahi hai it consists of simply two metal uske andar springs lagaye rehte hai we will no need to explain that was too much just for now you just know it is consists of two hollow metallic d shape d's d1 and d2 or d shape d1 and d2 you can say this one as d1 you can say this is as d2 as you wish you can say this side as d1 or that side d2 or this one d1 d2 but for assumption i am taking this is d1 this is d2 so it's consist of two d's d1 and d2 of metallic sphere just after this after that write it the two d's the two t's are connected the two d's are connected to a high frequency the two d's are connected to a high frequency ac source or ac voltage the two d's are connected to a high frequency ac source or ac voltage after that write that the two d's the two d's are placed the two d's are placed in between the two d's are placed in between two strong magnets in between two strong magnets dono d ko lekar kahan par rakha hua hai do magnet ke beech mein rakha hua hai there are two magnets north pole and another one is south pole so the magnetic field is from north pole to south pole the two d's are kept in between two strong magnets between two strong magnets and this whole system is placed in a vacuum chamber ye pura system ko kahan par rakha hua hai vacuum chamber mein laga hua hai just write it ye ho gaya second point third point mein ho gaya the two d's are kept between the two strong magnets then third skip to on the straight it the whole system is placed the whole system is placed in a vacuum chamber the whole system is placed in a vacuum chamber the whole system is placed in a vacuum chamber so you can write much more it is there in a book i am not writing all these things i am just telling you that it is constant one window through which the particles comes out you can write that thing but for now it's not required because that may be excluded from your syllabus ye should be sakta hai is baar cbc mein usko bhi nikal diya gaya hai is baar ke liye 2020 ke liye so just write it construction ho gaya then write theory theory mein kya likhoge theory Here the particle will move in a which path? Circular path. Before that, we studied that when the particle will move in a circular path, when the magnetic field and the velocity are perpendicular to each other. So, if they are perpendicular, then if you are leaving the particle in the previous lecture, I told you the particle will describe a circular path. So, that circular path, if the particle is moving in a circular path. that then the centripetal force comes out and that centripetal force is or should be balanced by the magnetic force so just write in theory suppose the particle no need i am not explaining all thing that we is the magnetic field v is the velocity q is the charge you can write all these things or directly you just write just write v is the magnetic field v is the velocity of the charged particle ab proton ko le rahe ho alpha particle ko bhi le sakte ho alpha particle means h2 four plus h2 plus then q is the charge of the particles you can say charge of the particle so in theory you can write in theory you can write 
the magnetic force the same thing whatever you have written in that case in the second case of previous lecture the magnetic force the magnetic force the magnetic force provides necessary provides necessary necessary centripetal force figure kalana just draw the figure after writing construction you just draw the figure provides necessary centripetal force just pause the screen and draw the figure then after that write it the magnetic force provides necessary centripetal force kon necessary centripetal force there are magnetic force so magnetic force you know that q v b equals to magnetic force q v b equals to because the velocity and the magnetic field are 90 degree here in this case because you are projecting the particle with 90 degree to the magnetic field magnetic field upar se niche hoga to velocity idhar hoga so they will be at 90 degree and if you are keeping north pole and south pole like this aise rakh rahe ho the magnetic field will be inward it depends upon where you are keeping the magnets but the velocity will be always perpendicular to the magnetic field so qbb equals to centripetal force ka formula mv square by r mv square by r so you can find the value of r that is the radius of the circle ye jo circle mein ja raha hai circle ka radius kitna hai because r will be how much this r will be here so mv by qb we have already we have derived but you can see here this is the radius of the circle of the particle in the cyclotron then also you can find the time period also kitna time lag raha hai usko ek bar ghumne ke liye whatever what is the time it takes to rotate or complete one circle so kitna time lagega just derive in the same way as you have done so the velocity first you know time period and just deriving time period so time period equals to 2 pi r by v circumference by velocity you know that velocity equals to distance by time so time period will be how much distance by velocity distance by velocity to ek circle mein kitna distance jayega 2 pi r it will move to a distance of 2 pi r by v velocity v so just put the values here so it will be 2 pi by v r equals to mv by qb so v b cancel ho jayega to t kitna aayega v b cancel ho jayega to 2 pi m by qb this is the time period and then one more thing that is frequency which is very important what is the frequency of the cyclotron then f equals to frequency equals to frequency equals to 1 by tan period that is equals to qb by 2 pi m this is very important just write it this is the frequency so the particle is rotating with a frequency of how much qb by 2 pi m remember q is the charge on the particle charge of the particle b is the magnetic field m is the mass of the particle so this frequency is very important and this may be some questions they will ask from this many questions are there what is the frequency of cyclotron that is qb by 2 pi m just remember it Whatever, whatever the time, if someone is asking, you just remember that the frequency is qb by 2 pi m. So how we came to this formula? We equate the magnetic force equals to the centripetal force. From there, we got the value of radius. After getting radius, we know the time period equals to circumference by time, velocity or distance by velocity. Distance कितना जा रहा है एक सर्कल में 2 pi r by 
will just keep it uh, radius ka formula hai so we are just keeping here so we will get t equals to 2 pi m so time period mil gaya to frequency kitna hoga 1 by t that is equals to qb by 2 pi m ye ho gaya frequency of the cyclotron remember this is very important this formula they may ask some questions so cyclotron ka frequency mil gaya ye ho gaya theory theory mein itna likhna hai it was a question long question this is a long question but this year may not be asked but for your information still now the guidelines still come so i am telling next one working so how it works ye jo cyclotron hai how it works cyclotron kaise kaam kar raha how it works so just try to imagine all the things and if you want to see also animations there are many animations that are available in youtube also you just check out there also so that whenever you are seeing cyclotron you can write by your own language usme aap khud ke language se bhi likh sakte ho agar aapko samajh mein aa raha hai to just write to working how it works it just see here it consists of two disks it consists of two disks that is suppose d1 this is suppose d2 so d1 d2 you are leaving a particle suppose positive charge particle here and the two disks are connected to the ac source it is connected to a ac source suppose this is positive negative positive negative it is connected to a ऑन एस सी सोर्स एस सी सोर्स के साथ दोनों कनेक्टेड है सो यूनो एस सी ऑल्टरनेटिव करेंट इतिहास वो टू साइकिल वन इज पॉजिटिव साइकिल वन इज नेगेटिव साइकिल आई वर्सेस टी का ग्राफ कैसा है कैसा है इट इज ए साइन एस ऑर्डल वेब रिमेम्बर ऑल्टरनेटिव करेंट इज ए साइन एस ऑर्डल वेब वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन one more chapter that is the alternating current one chapter is there so in that chapter we'll learn the current varies with respect to time time ke hisab se current kya ho raha hai variation aa raha hai current ka so it has two cycle this cycle is known as positive half cycle you can say this is negative half cycle this is positive half cycle this is negative half cycle this is positive half cycle again this is negative half cycle so it consists of two cycles one is positive half cycle another one is negative half cycle so negative this just it is the reverse of positive cycle suppose positive cycle mein i am just erasing this one it will have two cycles whatever the value here here it will be the reverse of that value what it indicates by this graph suppose this is suppose i not so this will be how much minus i not this is how much minus i not reverse of that thing ye positive hai to ye negative hoga that is the theory in ac so just see here when you are connecting suppose it has two cycle one is positive half cycle another one is negative half cycle suppose i am considering और पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल सपोज पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल में क्या होगा मान लो दिस इज व्हाट इज दिस इज सपोज पॉजिटिव एंड दिस एंड इज नेगेटिव तो अल्टरनेटिंग में क्या होता है साइकिल चेंज होता है आई हैव ड्रॉन द ग्राफ सम इट विल हैव पॉजिटिव वैल्यू एज वेल एज नेगेटिव वैल्यू सो नेगेटिव वैल्यू मींस इट रिवर्सेस इट्स टर्मिनल इट्स रिवर्सेस इट्स terminal so if it is positive this is negative for the next half for one half for one half suppose for one half if you are understanding fast this thing then it is easy for first one half suppose this end is positive this end is negative so ye ek half ho gaya then for the next half what will have it will it is reverses its direction that means what will happen for next half what will happen for next half 
n power kya tha positive tha so this will be negative and this end will be positive ye ho jayega terminal change ho jayega because it will reverse its direction jo bhi direction tha current idhar se idhar aa raha tha then for the next half it will go from lower to upper that means if the current was in this direction for positive half cycle this was positive and this was negative so current was flowing from like this direction next half ke liye kya ho jayega reverse ho jayega uska direction ulta ho jayega this will be negative this will be positive that is the theory behind ac ac mein kya hota hai uska jo terminal jo hota hai wo bar bar change hota hai this ball is glowing you are seeing that ball is glowing in your home but if you if you watch that ball with a slow camera you will see that ball is not glowing constantly to ye constantly nahi jal raha hai us kya ye ho raha hai up and down up and down ho raha hai bar bar ho raha hai kitna ho raha hai you know that in india it is 50 hertz the frequency of current is 50 hertz in india that means 50 times ye kya ho raha hai blink kar raha hai it is just blinking up and down or the terminal is changing again and again 50 hertz matlab it is changing its terminals 50 times or sorry it 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 has 50 cycles 50 cycles means 100 times 50 cycles means 100 times because ek cycle mein do half aata hai ek ho gaya positive half ek ho gaya negative half तो एक साइकिल में कितना बार चेंज होगा दो बार तो 50 साइकिल 50 हॉर्स मींस 15 50 साइकिल्स तो 50 साइकिल के लिए कितना चेंज होगा 100 टाइम्स सो दैट बॉल यू आर वाचिंग इन योर होम इज ग्लोइंग कांस्टेंटली बट एक्चुअली इट इज ब्लिंकिंग 100 टाइम्स रिमेंबर और यू कैन सी इन YouTube आल्सो हाउ इट वर्क्स अल्टरनेटिंग साइकिल हाउ इट वर्क्स फॉर पॉजिटिव साइकिल and for negative cycle because whatever the terminal see or it will reverse its direction so current ka direction kya ho raha hai change ho raha hai idhar se idhar theek tha fir idhar se jab idhar aa raha hai to current ka direction kya ho raha hai change ho raha hai to current flows in opposite direction here the current flows in opposite direction remember this is negative means the current flows in opposite direction to current ka direction jo ulta ho raha hai that means the terminals are changing here if it is positive it is negative if the terminal changes that is it should become negative it should become positive so this positive negative negative positive changes 100 times in our home i am saying for different countries this value is different so that is the idea of ac so what happens in ac ac changes its terminal in every half cycle remember ac changes इट्स टर्मिनल इन एवरी हाफ साइकिल एक हाफ साइकिल में जो भी टर्मिनल था नेक्स्ट हाफ साइकिल में उल्टा हो जाएगा इट्स डिरेक्शन विल चेंज इट्स नेम इज ए सी इसीलिए उसका नाम क्या दे गया है अल्टरनेटिंग करंट बिकॉज इट्स ऑल्टर्स इट्स डिरेक्शन एज वेल एज इट्स मैग्नेट्यूड ऑल्सो सो लेट्स दैट सपोज फॉर आई एम सेन फॉर पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल दिस सेंड इज सपोज नेगेटिव दिस इज सपोज नेगेटिव and this end is suppose positive this end d1 is suppose connected to positive and d2 is connected to negative for half cycle one half cycle because it consists of two half cycle one half cycle then one more half cycle for this half cycle suppose i am saying the current flows from positive to negative current flows from positive to negative this end is positive this end is negative so what will happen this charge will get attracted towards which plate this plate or this plate we are taking a positive charge so it will obviously attracted towards which plate negative plate so this positive charge will attracted towards this plate so is this positive charge will attracted towards this charge 
सॉरी दिस प्लेट दिस इज d1 सो d1 के तरफ खींचेगा क्योंकि दिस वन इज कनेक्टेड विद नेगेटिव टर्मिनल सो दे आर इन फिश फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऊपर और नीचे क्या है मैग्नेट से तो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इधर आएगा मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड के वजह से द पार्टिकल विल ट्राई टू मूव इन ए सर्कुलर पाथ बिकॉज वी स्टडीड दैट द पार्टिकल गोज इन ए सर्कुलर पाथ इफ वेलोसिटी एट एन एंगल ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री सो दिस एंगल विल बी नाइंटी डिग्री टू दिस वेलोसिटी विल बी अलॉन्ग दिस डिरेक्शन एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज अलॉन्ग दिस डिरेक्शन सो एट नाइंटी डिग्री द पार्टिकल विल गो इन ए सर्कुलर पाथ तो इधर क्या होगा जब पार्टिकल उसके अंदर जाएगा देन इट विल गो इन ए सर्कुलर पाथ बिकॉज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड द पार्टिकल विल चेंज इट्स पाथ दैट विल मूव इन ए सर्कुलर पाथ सो आफ्टर मूविंग इन ए सर्कुलर पाथ द पार्टिकल अगेन कॉम्स टू हियर अगेन इट विल कॉम टू हियर दैट इज द गैप बिटवीन द टू डिस दोनों के बीच में कुछ गैप दिया गया है सो जब इधर पहुंचेगा तो क्या होगा द टर्मिनल विल चेंज बिकॉज इट इज ऑल्टरनेटिंग करेंट सो इट्स टर्मिनल शुड चेंज दैट इज पहले ये क्या था पॉजिटिव था ये क्या था नेगेटिव था अब टर्मिनल चेंज हो गया अब ये साइकिल आ गया इस साइकिल कहानी खत्म हो गया ये साइकिल का कहानी खत्म हो गया उसी में क्या हुआ पॉजिटिव चार्ज इसमें आ गया डी वन में आधा सर्कल गया फिर जब इधर पहुंचा वेन इट रिचेस हियर एट दैट टाइम द टर्मिनल चेंजेस दैट मीन्स इट बिकम्स नेगेटिव दिस बिकम्स पॉजिटिव देखो ये अभी क्या हो गया नेगेटिव हो गया ये क्या हो गया पॉजिटिव हो गया तो ऑब्वियसली दैट पार्टिकल पॉजिटिव चार्ज पार्टिकल विल अट्रैक्ट टुवर्ड्स दिस प्लेन सो दिस पार्टिकल विल बी अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स दिस प्लेन दैट इज सो अभी d2 के तरफ खींचे d2 खींचेगा इस पार्टिकल को क्योंकि इसका टर्मिनल चेंज हो गया एस सी का टर्मिनल दिस आई एम शोइंग I am telling, and this happens at a very faster rate. Remember, it happens very faster rate. As as soon as the particle reaches your the terminal changes that you are setting according to this formula. That frequency is set according to what is the formula? Two pi m by q b. Us formula ke hisab se ab cyclotron ka frequency bhi set kar sakte ho. According to that, this terminal changes. This frequency. and this frequency frequency of alternating cycle that is the source you are applying both the frequency should be equal if both are equal then it happens otherwise it will not happen iska frequency jitna hai uska frequency bhi utna hona chahiye jitna time le raha hai ye ek circle mein ghumne ke liye utna time chahiye usko terminal change hone ke liye then only you can Use cyclotron. Otherwise, you can't use the cyclotron. So these all are calculated values, and the frequency of the alternating source is set according to two pi m by q b. A mass of the particle. You are proton le rahe ho, to apko mass pata hai, charge bhi pata hai, b bhi pata hai. Magnetic field ap ke sab se laga le ho. To si sab se ye frequency aur ye frequency, source ka frequency. एंड इसका जो असलेशन होगा दोनों का फ्रीक्वेंसी सेम होना चाहिए ताकि व्हेन एवर द पार्टिकल रीचेस हियर एट दैट टाइम इट चेंजेस इट्स टर्मिनल अदरवाइज इट विल नॉट चेंज सो दिस इज वन लिमिटेशन इन लिमिटेशन वी विल स्टडी व्हाट विल हैपन इफ आर टेकिंग अदर पार्टिकल्स सो जब व्हाट फॉर नाउ जस्ट नो दैट एज सुन एज द पार्टिकल रीचेस दिस गैप द टर्मिनल चेंजेस देयरफॉर अभी करंट का डायरेक्शन उल्टा हो जाएगा उल्टा होने से क्या होगा अभी पार्टिकल इस तरफ खींचेगा सो द पार्टिकल विल अगेन मूव इन ए सर्कुलर पाथ बिकॉज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आर प्रेजेंट सो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड के वजह से इधर एक सर्कल में जाएगा फिर जब इधर पहुंचेगा व्हेन इट विल रीच हियर अगेन द टर्मिनल चेंजेस अभी ये क्या था पॉजिटिव था ये नेगेटिव था अभी चेंज हो जाएगा अब पार्टिकल इधर पहुंचा सो दिस विल बी नेगेटिव This will be positive. So again, the particle will be attracted towards this plate. Again, it will move in a circular path. Whenever it reaches here, then the terminal changes. 
Then it will move here. So finally, it will form out the cyclotron when it reaches this window. So what is the basic idea here? The working that for alternating cycle, it has two half cycle. One is positive half cycle. One is negative half cycle. So I am just telling one second. One second I am telling. Try to understand and watch carefully. Otherwise, see some animations in YouTube. That is the same thing they have to learn. They are not giving any extra idea. Suppose this was called negative. This was positive for first half. For first half cycle, ये negative में था. This T was positive. So this positive particle will attract it towards this plane. So because of magnetic field, it will move in a circular path. As soon as it reaches here, then the terminal changes. Then the terminal changes. You have heard terminal change here. This cycle has gone. Then the terminal changes. As the terminal changes, that is, this becomes negative. This becomes positive. So if it is negative, it has a positive charge particle. Obviously, it will go to this side. Again, it will move in a circular path because of magnetic field. It will move in a circular path in this D. Again, it will reach here. As soon as it reaches here, the terminal again changes. That is, it was here negative. It will become positive. It will become negative. So as it becomes negative, the positive charge particle will attract it towards this field. Again, it will move in a circular path because of मैग्नेटिक फील्ड तो सर्कुलर पाथ में जाएगा फिर जब ये इधर पहुंचेगा फिर टर्मिनल चेंज हो जाएगा दैट मींस इट विल बिकम नेगेटिव दिस विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सो अगेन पॉजिटिव चार्ज पार्टिकल विल अट्रैक्ट टुवर्ड्स नेगेटिव प्लेट सो इट विल मूव इन अ सर्कल सो ऐसे पार्टिकल घूमता रहता है कहां पर साइक्लोट्रॉन में सो दैट was how the cyclotron works so this is very simple or uh, just go on to youtube just type it working of a cyclotron and see the animation you will get more clarification then next one just write it whatever we understood here we'll write it in language aap khud ke language se bhi likh sakte ho nahi to main bata raha hu aapko you can write so right working the very first point the very first point working let us go let us consider let us consider for positive half cycle of ac let us consider for positive half cycle of ac d1 d1 this is d1 d1 is negative and d2 is positive very simple language i am writing in a very simple language don't look at the books it will you will be more confused so just write in a simple language jo aap samajh rahe ho usko likhne ki koshish karo apne language mein so let us consider for positive half cycle of ac to first cycle tha to first cycle ke liye kya ho raha tha D1 is negative and D2 is positive. D2 is positive. D2 is positive. Then the positive charge particle. Then the positive charge particle will move towards. Then the positive charge particle will move towards. So the positive charge particle tha. So ye kithar jayega? D1 ke paas jayega. Kyunki uska कौन से टर्मिनल के साथ कॉलेशन है नेगेटिव तो पॉजिटिव वाला अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स नेगेटिव सो ये अभी इस तरफ आएगा d1 के तरफ सो द पॉजिटिव चार्ज पार्टिकल विल मूव टुवर्ड्स d1 d1 एज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज प्रेजेंट राइट इट एज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज प्रेजेंट इट विल मूव in a semi circular path it will move in a semi circular path it will move in a semi circular path 
it will move in a semi circular path in d1 in d1 abhi kya hoga abhi chista hua kidhar aa jayega d1 ki taraf aaya fir udhar kaun sa field hai magnetic field hai to magnetic field ke wajah se kya hoga abhi semi circle mein jayega aise seedha nahi jayega nahi to seedha chala tha magnetic field what if magnetic field is not there so it will move in a straight along that direction only but because of this magnetic field only it will moving in a which path circular path so it will move inside what d1 after that right as soon as it reaches the gap abhi is gap mein pahuncha as soon as the charge as soon as the charge reaches the gap between two d's as soon as the charge reaches the gap between the two d's the terminal of ac changes or reversed the terminals of ac changes or reversed you can say the terminals of ac re is reverse abhi d1 kya tha negative tha d2 kya tha positive tha to abhi ulta ho jayega matlab d1 kya ho jayega positive and d2 kya ho jayega negative to so, abhi d2 is taraf ye wala negative ho gaya to ye gap mein tha to abhi kahan jayega d2 ke paas jayega particle will move this is d2 so d2 ke paas jayega abhi gap mein tha particle change ho gaya terminal to abhi ye d2 ke paas jayega again d2 mein circle mein jayega because of magnetic field so usko apne hisab se likho so as soon as the terminal as sorry as soon as the particle reaches the gap between the two d's the terminals or the, uh, the terminals of ac is reversed is reversed so the particle will move towards d2 so the particle will move towards d2 and because of magnetic field and because of magnetic field it will move in a semi circular path in d2 in d2 ab is d2 mein kya hoga semi circular path mein jayega it will move in a semi circular path in d2 again again as soon as the particle again as soon as the particle reaches as soon as the particle reaches the gap the terminal is reversed the terminal is reversed so the particle will move towards d1 अभी इधर से आया इधर गया फिर उधर से इधर आएगा अभी जब गैप में पहुंचेगा फिर क्या होगा टर्मिनल फिर चेंज हो जाएगा बिकॉज दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी जो फ्रीक्वेंसी जो साइकिल का फ्रीक्वेंसी कितना टाइम ले रहा है उस टाइम को डिसाइड किया जाता है बाई द साइक्लोट्रॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी उसी हिसाब से डिसाइड किया जाता है उसको सेट करके रखा हुआ होता है वट यू है पार्टिकल रिजेस्ट हो गया द टर्मिनल of ac changes so the particle will move towards d1 so the particle will move towards d1 this process continues this process continues just write it carefully this process continues and finally the finally the electron comes out finally the electron comes out from the cyclotron finally the electron comes out from the cyclotron through a window through a window this was the working of cyclotron and finally the electron comes out through the window just write it carefully otherwise just pause the 
where, where you are confused just pause the screen watch it again and write it carefully the main thing is uh, you should understand if you are understanding you can write of your own language could be like that just a summer scenario na usi ko aap exam mein likh ke ho pura mark hi milega but golf अगर इधर उधर लिख दे लिख रहे हो तो आपको मार्क नहीं मिलेगा सही सही चीज लिखो जो आप समझ रहे हो उसी को भी लिखो अपनी भाषा में लिखो तो आपको फुल मार्क मिलेगा लेकिन गलत लिखने से मार्क नहीं मिलेगा पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट जैसा ये जैसे मैंने बताया उसी हिसाब से आप अपनी भाषा से लिख रहे हो तो आपका जो वर्डिंग है वो सही नहीं है तो भी चलेगा लेकिन जो लिखना वो सही होना चाहिए देन आफ्टर दैट ये हो गया वर्किंग then one more thing that is maximum kinetic energy you will get working then sometime you, they may be asked for maximum kinetic energy your kinetic energy is what is the value of maximum kinetic energy in the next class or in the next lecture we will study about the limitation and uses because it will be too much longer so just write it maximum kinetic energy मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी ये जो इलेक्ट्रॉन आ रहा है और सॉरी प्रोटॉन आ रहा है बार चार्ज पार्टिकल आ रहा है उसका मैक्सिमम एनर्जी कितना है जो मैक्सिमम एनर्जी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन सो मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी सेम थिंग दैट यू नो दैट द सेंट्रीवेटर को स्मॉल नो मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी लेट v नॉट लेट v नॉट बी द मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी ये जो मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी है अभी जो निकल रहा है निकल रहा है तो उसका मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी मान लो कितना है v नॉट है देन यू कैन इक्वेट दैट यू नो दैट द सेंट्रीवेटर फोर्स शुड बी इक्वल्स टू द मैग्नेटिक फोर्स द सेम थिंग सो हां एम बी स्क्वायर बाय r शुड बी इक्वल्स टू q v नॉट v सेंटर सो ये r इधर आ जाएगा q v r by m सो q v R by M. ये हो गया मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी अभी हम लोग क्या निकालेंगे मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी तो मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी के लिए हम लोग को चाहिए मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी सो यू हैव टेकन वी नॉट बी द मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी सो मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी कितना है यू बी आर बाय एम क्योंकि रेडियस आपको पता है साइक्लोट्रॉन का पता है चार्ज ऑफ द पार्टिकल बी भी पता है मास ऑफ द पार्टिकल पता है तो आप काइनेटिक एनर्जी निकाल सकते हो तो मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी विल बी हाउ मच वन बाई टू एम बी नॉट स्क्वायर ये हो गया मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी का स्क्वायर हो जाएगा सो जस्ट फूट दू ऑफ बी नॉट बी और सो इट विल बी वन बाई टू एम बी नॉट दैट इज क्यू बी आर By m तो उसका स्क्वायर ले लो सो फाइनली जो एनर्जी मिलेगा आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग हियर जो मैक्सिमम का एनर्जी एनर्जी कितना होगा के ई प्लस टू के मैक्सिमम कितना होगा वन बाई टू क्यू स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर बाय टू एम ये हो गया मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस फार्मूला हाफ क्यू स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर एमएम कैंसिल हो जाएगा तो 2m दिस इज द मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द चार्ज पार्टिकल इन साइक्लोट्रॉन सो टुडे दिस मच ओनली इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल लर्न द लिमिटेशन एज वेल एज द यूजेस सो जस्ट ट्राई watch this video carefully and also those who are not subscribed subscribe the channel and share with your friends so thank you for watching this video